Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of GTA. This is Ted Tokes, ready with another voiceover for you. Uh, last time we uh, took a look at the salvage yards, seeing which one we might be interested in getting uh, position-wise. Uh, and then we start looking at some of the other lists. Checking out stuff that uh, we might be interested in working on getting money for. Then we take a look at the boats. Not really too interested in them. And those, most of that stuff I think I had already. I think I have like, I think I even have the yacht. I'm not sure. I'll have to try calling in the yacht one day and seeing if I, uh, if I can or not. But some Benny's cars, we get the couple for free. We grab, we grab us up a couple free cars because, um, actually we're thinking of getting the, uh, there's a garage. There's a 40 car garage that wasn't a garage, uh, last time we played. I'll be honest, I'm I'm not really too satisfied with the fact that there's only one four four seater in, in this arena more selection. That that's kind of uh that's kind of unsatisfactory to me. And that's a pretty nice sized garage to be able to have a forty car garage. So we uh we're gonna we're gonna end up being a, going and getting that thing. We'll look around at some of the other stuff. Kinda just, you know, Refamiliarizing ourselves with the menus. Look at some cars. We knew there was a Banshee for free that we wanted. Because uh, uh, I heard something about uh, you could upgrade the cars to like uh, uh, HW or SWH. I don't know. Well, I, can't, I can't remember what, the, what they said that it was. But you go to like the shop or something. And you can upgrade them to get even faster than the car is fully upgraded. So we got ourselves a couple uh, classic Corvettes. We get ourselves a supercar for free. Nice lime green one. And then uh, after picking the garage we want to put them in, we continue on. And then uh, there's the Banshees. There's the topless one that cost 105,000. It's not or a uh, hundred and something thousand. I didn't see what it was exactly, but uh, so about a hundred thousand K for the one with uh, the convertible. And um, I know you can take the the Banshee to the chop shop and then turn it to a convertible. But I don't know if that makes it the same car or not because I feel like they're the same car. Just one is a convertible and the other is not. But the one that is not a convertible is the free one. So it's really your choice which one you get. They're both really good cars. I'm told they're like one of the top five fastest cars in the game when you get them fully upgraded with uh, whatever special modifications they have. I think from um, I think from LS Customs or the, like the the car LS Car Meet place. See, I don't have a lot of cars, but um, I do have some. And here's where we've seen that garage. It's a 40 car garage. This looks incredible to me. Alright, we're going to try and um, purchase this bad boy. We like that. We like that little setup. Definitely feeling the yellow. I like the green, but I think the yellow is really shiny. Then we get a sorry message. You can't even make the, uh, make the purchase. What the heck, you know? So I scroll around, see what's going on, you know? Looking around, looking around. Maybe, uh, maybe I uh, missed something. Because I'm thinking maybe I have too many properties. I check on my hope, my, you know, which one. I just didn't figure much out, but I ended up going back into it. Yeah. Oh, balls. Some cops on the take are about to take your whole workforce into custody. So get down there and save them. However, I got a business that needs defended, so... I call in my vehicle and start heading that way, really. You know, there's, um... 
there's not really much else to do when someone's trying to mess with your stuff besides defend it. So we jumped in the Deluxo, you know, nice, perfect takeoff, I'd say. I'm not a professional judge or anything, but I'm just going to go ahead and say perfect takeoff. And it, now we're just going to head our way over there, you know, I'll fast forward it so because the Deluxo is it's just a cool car, you know. It's probably one of my favorite cars. It's not too OP. It's cool enough to try to get out and do some stuff. And then here we are driving in there. We see a little bit of enemies. It's the cops. The cops. What the heck? The cops are trying to mess with my business. What's up with this? Oh, we got it. We got it. Defend our stuff here. Can't fly for crap, obviously, you know. But uh, we rotate in there, get a couple, get a couple in there on this little push. And then, uh, once I'm done wasting missiles, I pretty much swing back around. That way, I can get that angle again and still get in there, finish them off. And then, before you know it, I just got to go get the actual. Uh, I gotta go get my employees, man. The, the cops ran off with my employees. Can't have that, you know. So, you know, because um, you know, what the heck? You know, just don't lose your employees. You have to get new ones. Nah, you might as well go over here and get these ones, huh? They didn't get too far yet. Do that. We pull over, try to get the shot off, but we're so slow. I'll tell you what it is. We just haven't played this game in so long. We forgot how stupid stuff like this is. And, uh, you know, we, we made the mistake of pulling in front of them and stopping to begin with. And we should have just did what we're about to do right here. Which is just get in front of them. And... Well, I guess we'll have to chase him down a little bit, huh? Alright, well, I remembered that, um, I'm not that good, so, you know, we, we spin the car around, get a couple shots in, we finally got enough of the attention of the driver to make him jump out. I shoot up the passenger side like it's not bulletproof glass. There's nobody even in there, by the way. Um... And then we drive off with the employees. <clears throat> it was a sloppy recovery. It really was, okay? You'll hear it from me. I can admit these things. But, uh, you know, we're recovering the employees, so we're going to drive them back to the business, let them get back to doing what they do. And uh, I don't know what that uh, marker right there was for. That was the business, but I couldn't buy it. I couldn't buy it, uh, and my recording had uh, stopped for a second. And I didn't restart it until after I checked the, uh, the poster board. But I couldn't buy it in mission. Here we are, passing up the actual alleys, the actual entrance to our business. Because, you know... We've been here so much recently that uh, we remember. Boom. Nice little defended business, you know. Got our stuff back. Employees, you know, back to work. That's good. All right. Uh, switch over to an invite-only session because I wanted to sell some supplies and make some money off of my business's uh, products. Um, without um, without the server players messing with me, I didn't really care about the bonus. We take a look at them salvage yards, and I'll be honest, I kind of like the one on the right there. There's another one. There's another one up north, maybe two, uh, but I, I kind of like this one right here. Uh, we take a little gander around at some of the options. Just to get a feel for how much the, the build this business is going to cost us. Depending on how much we want to uh, upgrade it, you know. 
Uh, I'm not comfortable spending that money. That money, you know, I'm not. Um, there's other stuff I'm trying to buy, and so we just uh, we just kind of survey. We get a feel for how much this is going to cost to run and start up, and we just you know get an idea of how much money we want to have before we max or even start investing into that salvage yard. I realized my uh, spawn start was my Kasatka, so I changed that to uh, something else and. change it to oh yeah I was trying to learn what some of them were I didn't know what the vehicle warehouse was until I got there and was like oh yeah that's my vehicle warehouse I know about that already uh, and then we switched it again Oh, that's right. No, no, no. We just went straight to the arcade after that. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I usually have my things set to. Is either the arcade or the Sokka. It depends. If I'm running Kasakas every day, um, then I put it on Kasatka. But if I'm just running, you know, if I'm not running Kasa, if I'm not running the Ko Perico heist to make money, I pretty much just go in the um. Arcade is my startup. That was a car I found in there. Did you guys see that little flower punch buggy beat? The that was a that was a random car I found in a parking lot one day. It was like a blue dot or something. I think <clears throat> it's like one of the collectible cars that just spawn up around the map. Pretty cool. Drove it to my thing to collect it, and, uh, and then you saw the. Free mo the free supercar that was in the arcade. Not much else in there right now. Most of my most MMI. Of my are we empty, expect honestly. the unexpected. Just, uh, you know, okay. I do a couple KO Pericos. <clears throat> maybe some other stuff. You know, just get the money to get the businesses and stuff that were new. And then as you I calling for some it, wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. On I'll hook you up. After, I just chip away at the upgrades, and eventually I got pretty much everything. Almost, it's on the way. You know, um, okay, I got stuff to do. Besides the actual like cars and stuff, maybe like that. Like I don't got a lot of. I got boats. I got planes. I got cars. You know, I got all that. I got tanks and all that stuff. You know, but uh, wasn't really the focus of where I spent the money. I was. I wanted to prioritize getting all their businesses and stuff, you know, because I played this game a lot, but I lost my main account, and, um, so, every, so this account, I pretty much just, you know, every time I got some money, I put it into the businesses and stuff, trying to get back to where I was. We put, uh, we put one of the cars in that arcade garage, and then, uh, after that, we kind of take a, oh, we call up the mechanic and get some more of them. Uh, actually, that's right. No, we called up the mechanic to pull out the old, the old bicycle. And, um, I'm on the clock. This. What you I, want? Some we, wheels? We, I just pulled it out just to, uh, I was going to take a trip up to that 40 car garage because, uh, there, there it wasn't letting me buy it, right? So I was like, ah, maybe I'll just go to the actual property and see what's up, see what's going on, right? So instead of driving up there, um, I decided I'd take the bike, you know, take the pedal bike. I'll get there so as soon as I can. Alright, I'll get back to work. Got the pedal bike delivered from our uh, main main house on Del Perro. Um, or whatever, I think that's which one it is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, I don't know, it's a building between my arcade and my nightclub. It's like dead center of my arcade, nightclub, and bell bones. They're all together, but... But that's it for this one. We're gonna jump on our bike and head to the garage. Hey, where the and, uh... Wow, dude. Hope you enjoyed, man. Next episode out soon.